All right, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to customize what you see at the top here. So basically this um, information here and then um, the number of the picture slider that you have in here. All right, so if you go to the home page, so that's basically all pages on the side here, and then you click on the home, you see, see if you have already imported the files, you will see like some text in here already. So basically what, what um, you need to do is to take um, notice of the short codes. So here we have a headline short code. So basically that's this headline in here. If you put any, put any text in between that short code it's gonna come up with this formatting. And then we have a subline, sub headline which is that one there. And then we also have um, different columns. So basically if you want to break this up into two columns you can use the column short code. So we have a column holder which is open up there and then closes there. And then we have two columns, so that's one column and then the second column. And then you can put basically anything in between those short codes, and then that just makes it easier for you to format that page. So to change things, just probably too easier to just change um, or make changes to what you see in there. So let's say we want to change the headline. We can easily put in the headline, call it contact app, and then say the best way to to access your contacts so I've changed the headline and the sub headline so now if I click on update you see we have a different headline and then a different sub headline in there and then of course um, you can either add images in here of course um, we have a template URL which is also a short code for the location of a template but of course you can link to almost any image in that in that file all right so um, what else do you need to know about um, yeah you also need to know about how to change these images in here right so to change the images what happens is like it takes the images from the gallery on the home page right so here if you click on upload or insert images you will see here on the gallery we have two images <clears throat> so every post has to um, has a gallery. So this is the gallery for this page. So if you want to add something else, if you can upload pictures from your computer, click on select files. Um, that's an image on my computer there. Um, and that's all you need to do. So if I just click save all changes, don't click insert into post unless you want to actually put it in the post. So now we have three images in that gallery. If I reload this page, if I reload that page, you should see three images set up in there so you see we have one two three albeit they are the same image but then if you had different images that would work and then the best um the best dimensions for your images are 255 by 382 that's like a it's a multiple of 640 by 960 so um that helps all right so that's um it okay then one more thing how to change the price in here so the price in here is basically a custom field so here we see a custom field which says price you can easily change that if your app costs 199 so put in 199 there and then click on update here and then you can just make sure click on update there as well and then if I reload this page you should see the new price 199 so that's it for this video thank you for watching